It's here post fight, Bama 33. I'm joined by Aaron Chalmers, defeated Carl Donaldson after just 40 seconds again tonight. Yep. Aaron, we talked um, earlier this week. We, yeah, yeah. You thought it might go a bit longer than it did. Yeah, yeah. He hit you 10 seconds in. Like, how, did that did that hurt you? Did it buzz you a bit? You know, it didn't hurt. Is it just kind of because I, I feel like I went off the game plan. I walked in, I hit him with a stiff jab, which was the plan, stiff jab. But then he was he was ducking and weaving. Mm. And instead of just keeping my range and picking him, I started trying to fire, I started trying to find his head with uppercuts mm. and hooks. He caught us, then the corner was like shouted game plan, sat back to the game plan, keep me distance, and we knew we knew he was gonna rush in, because mm. he was looking, he was he looked for that big, the big left hook, which he missed to, on two yeah. occasions. So the third one, I seen him duck, and as he was coming up, bang, he walked straight onto it. I was prepared to go into the second and third, <coughs> but I'm not in there to mess around. Um, it was surreal, like it's, I trained so hard, like I did a five minute, five, five minute rounds Monday, Tuesday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I go in there, but you've always got to prepare for the worst, you know what I mean? 40 seconds, like when, when you did buzz him, obviously there was a you know, period of ground and pound there at the, end, at the end. Did you think the referee was going to dive in when he did? Do you know what I mean? Carl was, he was still moving. Yeah. When I first hit him, you could say he was dazed. I kind of missed him with the loop with the left hand. Um, as he went down, I think he was dazed, so he was just ki like, like say kicking and screaming. I don't think he was in control, but he just knew I was coming down from some way. Do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes when you get clocked, you've got to like, he was just kicking upwards to, to, to look busy. Mm. But I think I caught him with two or three big big hands, big right and left hands, and I think the ref saw enough. Yeah. So, and I think the stoppage was right because you don't want to hurt, like you're not in there to physically really hurt someone, but I think the stoppage was fair enough. And we talked about, you know, the crowd earlier the way. There, there, there's a big crowd in there. It was very, very, very it's loud. It's a very nice crowd. But it is the biggest, biggest crowd of the year, and I, like I say, if, that's a dream to walk out in front of your hometown to the bleeding races. It's something that not many people will ever do. Um, and yeah, I've done it now, and I honestly hope we'll get another show here next year. Sure. Um, yeah. You mentioned Bellator afterwards. Like, yeah. Have, do you know those guys? Have you talked to them? Like, you um, talked before. Uh, you know what it is. I think everything kind of falls hand in hand. Um, he's had three fights. I've had three, and I think it's a good matchup. If it's a dangerous matchup, it's a dangerous matchup, but it's a matchup that I think it, it, it fits both fighters. We both can mm. stand and fight, and I think it would be a hell of a fight for, for fans, Bellator fans and Bama fans. Mm. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to take that fight. On Bellator or Bama? Like, it, it well, well it's, a, it's a mixed card, it's a mixed card at the minute, so you could just do like a Bellator Bama kind of. Bellator, you could do a Bellator versus Bama, or yeah. just, ha you know what I mean? It could be anything, but. Like I say, um, that's that's the fight I would like. It's not really up to me, but if it comes my way, then I'd happily take it. Just one other name that people are talking about online. Obviously, you haven't seen this yet. Rich Kiley just fought for the title here in Bama. Like, do you know anything about him? Joe, I'll like? be honest. Rich, I'm not in Richie's league. I yeah. speak to Richie all the time on a daily basis. He always wishes as well. He was one of the first lads in Birmingham to come up and talk mm -hmm. to us, just saying, "Look, just keep your head, keep your feet on the ground. You're doing excellent. You're doing excellent for the sport." It's not a fight that I would take. Like, he's 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 a high level kickboxer. Um, he was very well into his career, that's why he took yeah. the title fight. Me, personally, I'm not in that kind of league. That's why I'm going to build myself up over the next one, two years, and then maybe we can start looking at the fucking the title shots and stuff. But at this moment in time, I'm, I'm worlds away from them. Like your Alex DeHose, your Richard Keeleys, your Terry Braziers. I'm not, I'm not in their league, and I'll openly admit that. No, last few questions. Like, 2017, great year. Like, how, how do you reflect on it? How do you look back on your first year in MMA? 2017, eh... Uh, 2017 was obviously roller coaster. My first fight, I'll be honest, I took the first fight. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was doing. I took the fight and I was in there and I thought, what the fuck am I doing? And yeah, I get paid to drink and I'm now in a cage with 4,000 people wanting us to get killed. <laughs> took that one, left, and I thought, I'm not, I'm not going back. Um, got the paycheck, I thought, now nah, I'm going back now. Yeah. Uh, got off at Wembley and then we got off at, yeah. And you, you still, next year, do you know what I'm, I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so much. Like it's something that I physically look forward to. A training. I've, I've got an apartment in Birmingham now, so I literally live in. If I'm not at Birmingham, I'm with my girlfriends. Um, and to see the progression over the last eight weeks, who knows what I'll be like in six months, in a year. If I, I'm just going to stick in Birmingham, stick in my camp. I've got the best in the country working around us. So yeah, that's that's it really. There we go. 2017 in the bag. Uh, Aaron, congratulations. Thank you on very much, tonight, and Have a great evening. Thank you very much, Andrew.